What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and today we are Jeffrey J. Jenkins the third. We are from the UK, we're an old man and we've just moved over here, we've imported our car, it's right hand drive, not in the game but RP right hand drive. It's registered in the UK, hence the um, number plate has the space in the middle, two letters, two numbers, three letters, that's how we do it in the UK. And if we go on the CAD, you can see it's registered to Jeffrey J. Uh, ignore the Wyoming thing, it's not actually registered there, but you can't do anything other than a state. And in the nose vehicle, it's right-hand drive, input from the UK, registered in the UK. And we have a character who lives at 23 Beechwood Road, Newport, Wales, UK. That's where I'm from, but that's not my address. Uh, born 11th of November 1939. We're skinny, we have no weapons, we're not deceased, and everything else looks good. So what are we doing today? We're driving on the wrong side of the road, of course. I'm in my natural habitat. We're driving on the left-hand side of the road. And we're just going to screw with some cops, pretty much it. Just left-hand drive, left-hand side of the road, and drive like normal. Just ignore the uh, vehicles, the AI, and see how far we get. Oh, I really want to drive next to this HP car, but probably it would be over too quick if we did that, I think. I know though, I want to go where he is, so that was definitely a sieve, 100%. So yeah, we're just going to cruise on the left hand side of the road. Oh, there's a cop already. Um, and he just ignored it. <laughs> Get on the right side of the road, young man. All of these young men, terrible drivers, on my side of the road. Look, there's another one, buffoon, maniac, maniac, maniac. What the fuck? There's a dude there. Red. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the guy that's running from the cops. That's great. Sorry, it's really hard to do an old man's voice, it really is, I'm trying. I'm not good with impressions, anyone who's watched my channel more than one episode will know that. Maniac! But yeah, I'm just going to drive round in circles until one of these cops dares pull me over. And tells me off. And then we're going to try changing up the tactic. And then we're going to try changing up the tactic again. Basically until they take our license off us. 1939, November 1939, so how old would that be? That would be 89, I believe. Uh, 39, 29, 90, uh, yeah, pretty much. No, I wouldn't. It'd be 79. I'm fine with that. That's old enough. Maniac! Making me swerve onto the wrong side of the road. Get on your side of the road, you young man. All of these lunatics. Maniac! Get on your side of the road, maniac! If that guy had some lights, what a maniac! Inside view, then I'm completely blind. I'm just going to pull forwards for the nice young man. So yeah, we're British. I'm British IRL, um, but we're British in the game. And we are driving on the correct side of the road with uh, those two little comma things next to it. And um, let's see how the cop handles this. Something tells me it's not going to go well. He's probably going to give me a warning, tell me to go on that side of the road. And then we are going to go on the right side of the road. Not going to go very fast because we're uncomfortable being on the wrong side of the road. But we're going on the right side of the road. Which is a nice gesture. I'm going to turn off the ignition, if it works at least. These bloody push to start cars, they never work. That maniac is on the wrong side of the road in his farm equipment. So if this does go bad, which I'm not expecting, I don't want this again to shoot out, but I've got no guns anyway. Because when I got arrested at the end of the last episode, that was really fun, uh, my guns got taken off me, and I haven't had a chance to buy them back yet, which is always good. So yeah, no shootouts today, unfortunately. Probably not any pursuits. 
But we are going to annoy this policeman. Yo, that voice is actually killing me. I'm not even kidding. It does actually hurt a little bit. Because I'm doing it right at the back of my throat. So, yeah. Not good. Good. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good evening, young man. Oh, shit. This cop's from Britain. Like, IRL. How are you this evening? Oh, just slightly tired from the flight over here. Yeah, I bet. The reason I've, reason I've stopped you is because you've, uh, you've been driving down the wrong side of the road, man. I have not, officer. These other gentlemen are maniacs. Um, okay. Uh, right, listen, man, I'm just going to give you a very quick verbal warning. Okay, get yourself out of here. You need to get over onto the right side of the road, okay? You're in America, all right? Which means you got to ride, uh, ride on opposite lanes, okay? So you need to get over to the right-hand side. Okay, young man, I will do my best. Okay, make sure you try your best, man. I've got to get out of here because uh, there's some gunshots, all right? Okay, have a nice day, officer. America, the land of the free and the guns. Um, I need to turn my engine on. Okay, he was a very nice officer. He gave me a, a verbal warning. So we are, we're going to get on the correct side of the road. At roughly, let's say 5 miles per hour. Well, 10. It's easier to keep to 10 miles per hour. And all these guys are going to lose their mind. That billboard up there is racist. America is the land of the free. Okay, my voice is genuinely dead. I hear mega gunshots. But yeah, America's the land of the free. I'm British, I'm allowed to be here. My voice has actually just died. <laughs> this is me talking normally now. My voice is just absolutely gone. Uh, I'm trying to stick to uh, 10 miles now. It's very tricky, so I'm going to go between 5 and 20. It's a lot easier to keep to that. Oh, what's happening over there? Just casually stop in traffic. Nothing much. Right, I'm thinking head to what um up towards Sandy and then get on the highway. We have a sheriff here. Oh, he's stopping on the side of the road for some reason. Not sure why. Is it something to do with us? Maybe. We've got a queue of cars behind us, kind of. I'm literally creeping past him. Like a few miles per hour. I'm trying not to stop, but it's very difficult. <laughs> it's so great. I'm just, I'm nervous, man. I've never been on this side of the road before. Oh, here he comes. I'm just, this is so nerve-wracking. Oh, I'm getting pulled over. This is great. <laughs> this is exactly how I wanted it to go. This is perfect. That charger looks sexy with that Ramba. The, um, what year is that? That would be the 14 charger. It does look good. It's, i got to give it to it. Oh no, I do prefer the um, 15 Charger though. That's a pretty good car. wonder what that bike was doing. That's unusual. And I hear another siren coming in somewhere. Um, I got surrounded saying that I still can't place it. There's a lot of sheriff in the area. There's one down there. There's one by the station. One went behind the 24-7 a minute ago. Right, I'm saving the old man voice so when the officer is here. Officer? 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 And, um, I'm gonna try my best, but if my voice starts just breaking or my accent changes, it's because I just can't keep doing it. It is actually killing me, pretty sure. Hello there. Good to Edwards with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. How you doing tonight? Oh, I'm good, officer. Was I speeding? Actually, sir, it was quite the opposite. You were uh, traveling well below the speed limit. There, it's actually considered a minimum speed limit violation in the state of San Andreas, so uh, I was just pulling you over to see what was going on, if you were in any trouble at all. Oh, officer, there was a lovely gentleman, and he pulled me over this morning for driving on the other side of the road, the correct side. He said I must come on this side, but it felt so unnatural I was scared to put my foot down. 
<laughs> Are you, uh, do you happen to be from Europe, sir? Yes, officer, I'm from the UK. Ah, I see. Yeah, over here we always, we travel on the right-hand side of the road. I know it's definitely different, especially, you're probably used to a, uh, right-side steering vehicle as well, aren't you? Yes, officer, it's very confusing. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, but, uh... We, we here we have obviously left hand drive vehicles and then we drive on the right hand side of the road so I know it can be a, uh, a pretty large adjustment especially if you're ne if you've never been here before um, do you happen to have an ID on you sir yes officer here is my UK driving license my name is Jeffrey J Jones the third okay uh, Jeffrey, do you happen to have a passport or anything on you right now? I have my J-1 visa, if you'd like to see that. Yeah, that would be great. Hands over visa. Here you go, young man. Alrighty, I appreciate it. You sit tight right here, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, young man. The world is such a weird place now. It was not like this in 1943. When I was just a boy and the bombs were falling. Good old Hitler, he was my role model. <laughs> I hope they heard that. That would have been great. Sieg Hail, we used to shout in the streets. Until the police arrived. Now that's called racism, apparently. Okay, the third traffic stop is where the most fun happens. You see, we've been told to stay on the right side of the road, and we've been told not to go slow. All that's left to do is to go fast. And I like fast. Fast is fun. Even for a 79 year old, 78, whatever he is. So let's see how they like this one. After, of course, we let go now. Alright, Jeffrey, here's all your information back. Here's your visa and your uh, license out of the UK. Um, what I'm going to do for you today is I'm, I'm going to be understanding. I know it's a large adjustment, especially if you're used to driving over to the UK quite a bit. Um, but here we drive on the right hand side of the road and you want to drive as close to but not over the speed limit the posted speed limit throughout here okay so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just giving you a written warning saying it's gonna be a minimum speed violation um, if it was a citation it would be up to a thousand dollar fine but uh, I'm not gonna do that to you because I'm gonna be giving you the benefit of the doubt so just make sure you're not impeding traffic like you were, and uh, then you'll be fine, okay? Okay, officer. I will do my best to go a little bit faster. Please don't All pick right, up on the fact that I'm going to speed. The speed limit, okay? I will do my best. That's totally not true. All right. As soon as I get back to my car and turn my lights off, then you're free to go, all right? Yes, officer. You are a lovely young man. When I was your I age, that. we used to go down by the lake and listen to the Beatles, I see. Back in those yeah. days, they were the best. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember them. Alright sir, I'm gonna head off of here. Um, you have yourself a good day, okay? You too, young man. Flora. Yep. 100% this is how I'm driving now. They told me to go faster and I'm completely incapable of understanding the concept of um, pressure on the pedal so it's either full throttle or full brake. There's no in between. Not for me at least. Ah, oh, this is cruel. But I have to. If I can only use full throttle and full brake these cops are gonna have a blast because I'm just going to wait for them to get behind me and they're going to experience full brake. This is where I get in trouble. Like, a lot. <laughs> I can't wait for this. There's a cop. How does he not turn around for that? 
I'm doing a hundred miles per hour. That is how, just how. Unless I'm going so fast he couldn't do it. I'm going to slow down. Foot brake. <laughs> brake. <laughs> Full throttle. Brake. Just to see if he is trying to catch up to me. Brake. Full throttle. Brake. Full throttle. Brake. <laughs> no, he's not trying to catch up to me. Okay. I can live with that. Oh, I think that officer's attempting to catch up with me. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. And brake. And around this corner. And to be more realistic, I'm going to accelerate a bit more slowly. This is a heavy car. You almost got wiped out by... Are you okay, officer? You need to be more careful. Put your hands up. What is that in your hand? Turn around. Turn around. Face away from me and put your hands up. Oh, I can't. <laughs> get your hands up. What did I do, young man? Now walk back to the sound of my voice. I can't, I have arthritis. <laughs> walk back to the sound of my voice. I cannot walk backwards. Keep your hands still, where I can see them. What did I do? Young man. Ah. <laughs> uh. This is... My neck All right. hurts! Alright, well, that's cool. Well, while you're out of ambulance, come and have a seat in my car. Oh, my arthritis! Do I get a coffee for sitting here? Alright, what's your name? My name is Jeffrey J. Jones the third. That's not my name. My name is Jeffrey oh, J. Okay, quick for me. Oh, okay. It didn't save. Ow, my back. My bad. Go ahead, turn around, face the vehicle. Hey, sir, do you want me to search? You got screen? anything, couldn't you? No, officer, I do not. Anything that's going to pop me, stick me, or hurt me in any way, or anything in your car that we should be aware of before we search it? No, just my ear medicine in my glove compartment! <laughs> this is great. Alright, go ahead, jump back in. Oh, uh, apparently I'm going that way. <laughs> Fair enough. What did I do, young man? Okay. Right, so you made up an officer, okay? You flew past us at, at uh, d down by the sheriff station. Now you flew past us at high rates of speed. Um, and then I lit you up when I had the sirens on. Um, you refused to pull over. And when you finally did come to a stop, you brake checked me and reversed into my vehicle. I did not see you, officer, and I did not reverse. All right, well, if you didn't see me, then you shouldn't be on the roads. I passed my eye test. I took one in 2004. Okay. So, because you reversed to my vehicle... I um, did not. That's battery on a piece of pusser. I didn't actually reverse. Um, as well as the fact you was felony eluding. Okay, so that's what you're going to be placed under arrest for. The main charge is going to be um, felony eluding. I Let's did not to remain silent. Anything you, say, you. anything you say, Kenan, will be used against you in a court of law. Um, you have the right to an attorney. If you can afford one, the state of San Andreas will appoint one for you. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you, sir? Yes, but this is unjust. Awesome. I... Okay, so you're the gentleman I asked up there for driving on the wrong side of the road, correct? Yes, and I was driving on the correct side now. 
yeah, I'm, I'm glad you learned from that. I hope the thing that you need to learn from at this point is not stopping for a police officer is a criminal offence. I did stop for you, but you ran into me. I All have right, no feeling this, in my legs. Well I don't know this, how hard was, I'm breaking. Uh, <laughs> precisely why you should drive it. So we was we was a minute well into um, pursuing it to the point I I had another unit able to catch up with me. He followed me from the sheriff's station. So. I am putting in a formal complaint. I am 78 years old, and this is harassment. <laughs> That's fine, man. You can go ahead and explain that to. Uh, yeah, to your lawyer or whoever. I did the, um, nothing wrong. Gets to the sheriff's station. You fell in and eluded. Okay, no, you, I you did not. Me. All okay, I did well, we was listen to the officer who told me to go faster. When I saw the lights, okay, I better. braked and you, officer, went into me. God, I'm bad at accents. That's because you brake checked me in the middle of the road. I have no feeling over. in my legs. I don't know how hard I'm braking. Well, then you shouldn't be driving if you can't feel your legs. That is not for you to decide, officer. Oh, I sound well, drunk. I mean, that can certainly influence <laughs> the decision that the DMV makes this time. So, but anyway, well, yeah, we're going to get you back to the sheriff's station, get you booked, okay? If I die in prison, my son will come and then hunt you down. Okay, they're taking quite a while, um, which I'm not really surprised about. This is a weird case. Um, but I've decided that, you know, 78, give or take, that's about the average life expectancy. And, I mean, they're going to send me to jail, so uh, maybe, just maybe... A heart attack would suffice. You know, not now, but when they're talking to me, if they make me angry, I'm not saying I will, but if, if they make me angry, I think I might have a heart attack. Of course, if they release me, I'll just have a heart attack behind the wheel and crash. That's the other option. Alright, jump out, Mr. J. Alright, walk this way. Walk this way. I first heard neck. that song in 1947. My neck, officer, it's sore. And my arm is well, aching a little and bit. For, uh, I went ahead and arranged somebody to come out and have a look at you here at the sheriff's station, been as though we was coming this way anyway. So I'm just going to continue to uh, get you booked in until uh, medics arrive. Okay, officer. My neck, my arm, and my chest is hurting. You say your chest is hurting? Yes. <laughs> um, alright, well, come over here. Come over here and have a seat. <laughs> let me, uh... Let me get these cuffs off you. Uh, is this sun bath or something? Oh, that's legit. Ah, oh, my chest. Oh. Oh, well, okay. You okay, sir? Breathing heavy. Oh, it hurts. Ah. Oh. Oh. Um, alright, alright, just, just, alright. <laughs> pulse, oop, slash, me, pulse is weakening. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, this is 
Jeffrey, uh, no, J Jones. I don't think that is my name. Jones, what out if I could spell it? The third, um, 1939 to 2018. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so, um, so guys, Jeffrey J. Jones the third, if that is my real name, is dead. He died of cardiac arrest on the 15th for the 5th UK date, 2018, because, you know, British UK date. He is no longer here. CPR is ineffective. I'm afraid Jeffrey died how he lived. I don't think that made any sense at all. It's a very sad day for both the UK and the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. <laughs> It's so sad. I'll be back, bitches. See you for the next video.